Getting ready to power up. Taking off. The wide blue yonder. Flight systems look good. Is becoming the wild, wild west when it comes to drones and privacy laws. Flying over a public park like this, there's no problem. Robert Ewan specializes in aerial real estate photography. Give you a little pan view of downtown. His custom drones can cost up to $35,000. I'm gonna bring it back in for a landing here. But hobbyist, just wanting to capture Austin from a different angle, can now put cameras in the sky for less than a thousand bucks. We have one of the highest densities of drones per capita of anywhere. For people worried about their privacy, it means tiny cameras that were at eye level now have a bird's eye view. It's a real concern. Dr. Todd Humphreys directs the radio navigation lab at the University of Texas. These can fly low, they can fly fairly quietly, and they can fly over your backyard. Drones can not only be discreet, they can also maneuver into places you might think are safe from prying eyes. So this is my uh, KITV precision landing uh, task. On a windy morning, we asked this pilot to bring the drone in low, stay directly in front of us, and land on top of our GoPro. Mission accomplished. People could abuse them just like they could abuse any camera, but the vast majority is gonna go out and take pretty pictures with them. Whether you build or buy a drone, flying for fun doesn't require the government's go ahead. If you can't have fun doing this, what's the point? So long as the unmanned aircraft stays under 400 feet and away from airports and restricted airspace, you're in the clear. Okay, we've got satellites, flight voltages look good. It's a little bit surreal and a little bit futuristic. Dr. Humphrey says in the absence of adequate federal rules, Texas created its own drone law. You're not supposed to take pictures from a drone of private property without the person's consent. But it's tough to enforce. Okay, coming in. You'd have to see the drone. I'm actually hands free right now. Or see yourself on YouTube to even know your privacy was invaded. For now, all eyes are on the FAA to see if it can take control. That looks pretty good. Looks pretty good to me. Of an industry that's just now taking off. Betty Cross, KITV News.